Good morning. What's your shirt say? Smile, laugh, and play sports. Blue, leave Boomer alone. Blue. You need to put on your glasses and you need to wash your hair. all my joints I am swollen I ate uh, food I shouldn't have eaten for two days because I was at meetings on Saturday and then on Sunday I just I had comfort food and um, I am really suffering because of it my joints hurt badly I gained five pounds overnight and it's all swelling. It has to do with the way the body breaks down fructose in my body. It pulls the water out of the food and holds it into your digestive system and your stomach and it's inflammation. <clears throat> I have a headache. I can't breathe. I know better, but I didn't do better. So now I'm on my way, an hour away to another one of my specialists. Um, I have a sleep specialist appointment today because they want to do another uh, sleep study, home sleep study, uh, because if I eat properly, they're thinking that my sleep apnea is better. Um, days like today where I didn't eat properly, my sleep apnea was horrible so I am exhausted I am so tired I don't feel like I slept a week so <clears throat> I have to get back on the right diet and I'm going to do this sleep study and now I have an hour drive and I need gas and yeah it's gonna be a long day so I stopped off at a pilot truck stop gas station place to get gas for my car and I went in and I got a big cup of hot chocolate um, and I went up to pay for it. Like it wasn't a small, it was like an extra large because I was needing it today. And um, when I went up to pay for it, this sweet little lady checking out was like, you're fine, I'm gonna buy that for you today. And I was like, what, why? And she goes, I just feel like I want to. And I was like, okay. And I went outside and I was like, you know what? That was so sweet. That changed my entire morning. I was feeling like crap. I didn't. I was just having a really bad morning and that little sweet act of kindness changed my entire mood. Thank you, little lady. So today at the sleep doctor, I was returning my sleep apnea machine. Uh, what is that called? I don't remember what that's called. And um, because they don't think it's the right fit for me anymore. Not fit, but like the right solution for my apnea because my apnea seems to be gotten have gotten better if I eat the proper food and don't eat things with fructose in it so um, I'm doing a home sleep study so I picked up that machine and he went back through all of that and I'll show you guys that tonight now I'm heading off to Whole Foods to get some alfalfa sprouts because I can't find them anywhere near my house and then I'm gonna go to Panera and pick up a big loaf of sourdough bread because sourdough is better than the other breads for me and I'll keep you guys posted. So I absolutely adore this store. I haven't been in here for a really long time because it's way far away from us, but this is called Quest Outdoors. It's got clothes and camping gear and climbing gear.
So whenever I'm in this area, I go to Panera Bread because there's not one anywhere near us and I get a extra large loaf of sourdough bread cut thin so that I can use that for sandwiches. And um, I also get a sandwich that I can eat. It's good. Panera, yum. It doesn't say anywhere what it is. No, it doesn't. That is just creepy. Yeah. You like your new book? Yeah. Your field guide? Mm hmm. To insects and bugs? Hey, nor uh, a northern stick insect. Yeah. What does it tell you about that? Um, that the head slight is slightly grown. Longer than wide and ten antenna are long. Legs have swollen and and band, and and banded it middle firmer and hind firmer. It, it, the hind firmer has spine underneath. Wow. Why don't you just throw it away? Could have been a guy we saw on the road. So we ran to the grocery store, me, Hunter, and Marley, and um, Daddy took the other kids and Mason's friend fishing for an hour, and so I thought it'd be nice to buy them some ice cream. So we bought a box of ice cream sandwiches and some other groceries that we needed, and on our way out we saw a guy with a huge backpack and a dog, and I happened to have just bought a bottle of water. So I asked him if he needed some water for his dog and for him, and he's stuck in town with a broken car for two days. And then we have one ice cream sandwich left, so the kids are saying we need to take it back to that guy. So it's 90 degrees, and we're going to do that. We're going to go try to find him. I hope we find him. Hunter, you want to say a little prayer for him? Why don't you say it out loud? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Please let the, uh, please let, <coughs> let, let, let whoever this guy is be well, be safe and unharmed for these two days he's stuck here. And but just protect him for let these two. <coughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Good prayer.